Hi, I'm Ben Greenman, and I'm here to talk to Amir Questlove Thompson. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new. First, I want to talk about the instrument that gives the show its name, the electronium. The electronium. Yeah, it's uh, innovated by Sir Raymond Scott, who uh, really doesn't get a lot of the credit he deserves because most people tend to think of Robert Moog as the sort of the father of electronics. This machine was basically kind of the first use of, of the idea of modern sound and music. The entire musical score was composed on a computer that can produce nearly endless variations of sounds. He was working on this for a decade, and then he was sort of absorbed by another music mogul. Yeah, uh, I, Barry Gordy at Motown uh, became interested in and I think he actually purchased the first uh, electronium, or at least commissioned him to make this. So Raymond Scott moves into Barry Gordy's uh, garage, and this becomes uh, a labor, a very slow labor of love, like he never finished the work. The design is complete, but will it work? We have yet to really explore or see the full potential of what electronic music can do. You know, when I was a kid, uh, coming of age, right when uh, Prince kind of changed the black music landscape, he, he used the Oberheim synthesizer as his, as his tool. Um, I was thinking like, wow, it, it'll get no better than this. But of course, you know, now you have, uh, people even pushing the sound further and more extreme than it's, than it's ever been. And some people tend to think that that could be a good thing or a bad thing. A lot of people tend to think that it's too cold. It's, it's, it's moved away from the human touch. Daisy, Daisy, give me your ass. 